What's happening, homie? Back with another Criterium Race Analysis. Today, we're down in Texas, the Dogwood Omnium, Stage 1. Uh, it's a crit about 50 minutes in the Cat 3-4 field, average about 25 miles an hour, 227 watts, normalized 275. Um, so a pretty tough race. FTP sitting in the low uh, 3.0x range uh, with a max heart rate of about 200. It, honestly, this race was a ton of fun. It was much warmer than I was used to, which is amazing coming from Missouri. But I had the roughest go of it before the race started. So... I'm out warming up on these not great Texas roads, chip seal, you know how it is, just, just look at the concrete, and I flat about mm, two miles away from the start, and you know, since I'm dumb, <laughs> I didn't bring uh, anything to fix a flat, so, you know, no tube, no pump, nothing, so I'm like, ah, I, I gotta get off and I gotta walk back, I'm, I'm literally considering taking my shoes off and running back, I had about 20 minutes, so I was like, or about 25 minutes I was like I can make it back if I run like if I run I can make it there and then maybe I can get you know my wheel out of the pit and just get on the line and go luckily for me Jeremy great great guy um he ended up you know doing very well in this race I think he takes third but or maybe second he was probably I think he was second and he just stops and he's like hey man do you need any help and I'm like yeah I, I do and he's like well I got a tube and a and a CO2 cartridge, do you want them? And I was like, this guy is so nice. So many people had passed me being like, are you okay? And I tell them, no, I flatted. And then they just like keep going. It's like, why did you ask? But I would just like to say thank you, Jeremy, if you're watching this. I hope you do. Um, nevertheless, race is a ton of fun. Um, a very simple hot dog crit, right? I mean, you can look at the map and tell. It is very, very simple. Road quality is not great. Uh, the only place I would say it's okay is in the last two corners, but even then it's not great. Hard attack up the left, and you know I was really concerned that a breakaway was going to go. The field was about 50 people, and there were some teams involved, so I was like, okay, if the right dynamics are there, a break will definitely go. We skip two corners ahead, and I see no one's chasing it down. No one really wants to pull, and so I'm like, okay, I'll do it. So I get a little bit of a gap with a little bit of a sprint, you know, 900 watts for about five seconds, settle in, try to get on this guy's wheel. And if we're able to roll this you have a huge advantage um there is a little bit of a crosswind but on this back section it's a little downhill and on this straight section it's uphill and in the two corners or the two sets of corners really you can just go so much faster by yourself and so we'd end up getting a little bit of a break rolling um it all came you know i think we got it going around mile 10 but as you can see we're about mile 14 we rolled this break for about four or five laps but it just doesn't stick the the cooperation isn't there and you can see we get caught so it's you know, we had our, our five in the group, but it just wasn't enough. And, it, you know, it, it's tough to get a break to go without the right mix of people. And there's a team, Vivis, here who I do not think they wanted to come down to a, a break. And they, they were chasing stuff down and kind of, you know, keeping eyes on things. Um, we see another break start to go up the road. And I'm like, okay, you know, I, I don't want to miss the break. And so I immediately punch it and bang, pinch that uh, flat on these not great Texas roads. You'll see me start to slow down, you see the shadow in the bottom right, put my hand up, and I'm just I'm pissed because it's like I I was in good position, that might have been the move, and I just lost it. I'm actually worried at this point, we're 34 minutes into the race, I'm worried I'm gonna miss free laps because the race is only 50 minutes, or maybe it was an hour. But nevertheless, I'm, I'm really concerned that I'm gonna miss the race. This footage is sped up a little bit just so you don't have to see the whole thing, but I'm just trying, rushing to get back, and at this point, I'm pretty pinned, 178 so not you know i'm not full gas yet but i am on the verge and getting back into the race isn't going to be fun um these guys on the right go man you were right there you were right in it and i'm like yeah you're telling me man you know they're already back around for another lap laps are very very short i get over here the mechanics are great uh, i got the front flat and i have my my spare wheels uh, you know quickly get it changed out this is actually the first time i think i've ever had a flat um and have got had to go to the pit for the flat which is actually odd probably done like 50 races i get put back in um you know the official goes he looks at me and goes all right i'm gonna let you in a little early but i better not see you in the front within the first two or three laps so i, I listen i don't want to get pulled i don't want to get dq'd this is the part that sucks though i am in way too big a gear like my cadence is so low and you'll see it as we get started up here that i'm pushing like 50 cadence <laughs> i was in just way too big of a gear i hadn't I hadn't shifted it up you know I'm going trying to get the gear to turn over trying 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 and it's just I'm pretty much immediately pinned right we skip about a couple laps ahead and I'm sitting at that 186 heart rate so I'm really starting to feel it you know 
and I'm just trying to patrol and just stay in it. And as you can see, like I was really hoping, okay, it's the end of the race. Maybe everyone's going to slow down before the field sprint. Not the case at all. We already, we have more attacks going, more attacks, and I'm just getting gassed. And it's like, it's, I already had to do a huge effort to get back to the front. And then at the front, they're attacking, attacking, attacking. So I really just, I have to decide, I, I have to sit in. There is no way for me to just continuously follow moves. And it's, it's unfortunate because I think I had the legs for this race. And with having the legs, you have to really, you have the legs, but you gotta have the tactics. And that's kind of where I failed. Um, we're coming into about a lap to go, and I'm I'm in good position, right? Out of that corner, 1,000 watt bomb, I, I have the legs there still. That's Jeremy in the pink jersey on my right. And it's starting to slow down really, really bad. And I realize, okay, that from that last corner, I had been thinking you need to be top five wheels if you want a chance, right? But realistically, you need to be top three. I see Jeremy going, so I'm like, okay, I need to go. And so I'm like pinning it up this hill you know 700 watts for like 20 30 seconds there but this is the issue is i can't like i'm already gassed i can't sustain that and so i'm like oh, i need to close this down but i'm hurting and so i take this corner not great and they continue to pedal and i don't get on the over i don't get on top of the pedals quick enough and they gap me now right here what i should have done is i should have immediately sprinted to get on that wheel but i don't and that's kind of the issue if i had sprinted to get on this wheel i probably win instead i let a couple guys in because I'm like, oh, I'm just so tired. Like, can someone else do it? And it's one of those, like, you're not even thinking. Like, I'm so gassed, I wasn't thinking. I should have jumped on that wheel right here. Right here, I get in the Vivis train, I win the race. But I let it open. I just, I let the wheel open. And I shouldn't have. If I had been on his wheel, maybe I win. And, you know, I end up beating that guy. And I do pretty well. I come out of a sprint. I pop off like 1,100 watts for five seconds. Guy yells at me, hold your line. He's not wrong. I definitely did not. So sorry, my guy. Um, I don't think it would have changed our placing. I end up getting six on the day. You know, fairly happy with it. Flatted twice, a front flat twice. Uh, so you know, hopefully uh, have some better luck next time. If you enjoyed the video, you know, like, subscribe. Uh, I'll be posting more soon. Thanks, deuces.